Guys, who would you say are your role models? Well, I think I'd have to say my biggest role model is Matt. And I guess I'd have to say mine is Theodore Roosevelt for his work with the Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War. Matt and Trey, tell us about... Okay, talk about a fashion statement. Now, two of you are nominated for best song, Blame Canada. Matt's not. Yes. I'm not. Is that why you're in the dress? It's just such a magical evening, and everyone... It's just everyone looks so spectacular, you know? We just wanted to be a part of it all. It's a night of magic. What? Come on. So is this a la Jennifer Lopez? Is this what we've got going on here? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted something special for the magical night. It's a night of magic. We said we can't say anything about the dresses. Nothing about the no dresses. Matter what they so ask everyone us, would go, don't say guys, anything. what about the dresses? Why the dresses? And we go, magical night tonight. Just all the girls are out. <laughs> there were people there were like, dude, this is my big night. F you. <laughs> yeah. so, that was the funniest thing to us. We're like, really? Like, this is f***ing bullshit. That's Hollywood. Like, let's rock, you know? <laughs> but we don't have any friends anymore. I wonder why. <laughs> are there lines that you won't cross? No. no. Really cool. <laughs> it was just amazingly cool. Most popular guys at CU. Yeah. Do you remember what the attraction was? I just remember that our senses of humor were just so similar that we would just really crack each other up and, and it, got to the, it got really annoying for everyone else in film school. The target audience is each other. If something makes them both laugh, it ends up in the show. So how do you describe this relationship? At this point, it's kind of like a marriage, you know, in a... In, you know, in the way that we're just like, we've just been together so long. We spend so much time together that you can almost finish each other's sentences. And it's funny because we're just at that level now where it just doesn't happen anymore that one of us can say to the other, you know, one time I was doing this. <laughs> because it's like, <laughs> I, yeah, I know, I was there. The foundation of the relationship is one of the strongest partnerships I've ever seen. Garafino believes that Matt Stone is the more ruthless of the two when it comes to satire, and that Trey is softer with a sweet sense of humor that provides the charm. We wanted to know what they thought of that analysis. That Ann's pretty smart. Ann's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> see, oh, see, that was the opposite. Right? That was really see, nice. That was, we're just proving the opposite. <laughs> Boy, that tray's ruthless. Ann, she's pretty. fired. Sometimes I've seen people try and triangulate one against the other. <laughs> you know, it's never you see work. people try to get between them. They shut it down so fast. They they have each other's backs in the absolute best possible way. And it doesn't mean they don't disagree because they frequently disagree. Mm -hmm. But they are genuinely a partnership.